Europe needs a new direction, and that direction cannot be based on old ideas. Europe needs a new thinking. Now, they're not my words, Mr. Barroso, they're yours from, uh, from the equivalent speech last year. The problem, of course, that yet again, you haven't delivered on any of the big promises or any of the grand rhetoric that you've delivered year after year. Your chance to deliver that new direction has passed. The question now, I think, that we have to address is whether your successor will be able to deliver any of the change that the EU so desperately needs. Next year, the Commission will have a fresh leader, although personally I'm not optimistic that he or she will come up with any fresh ideas. Indeed, many of the applicants for your job are here today. It's like a giant hustings meeting. Commissioner Reading, who I think has moved to the front bench now, is clearly running as the Federalist candidate, producing more eye-catching babble every day that goes past. Commissioner Wren could be delivering the speech next year, although I suspect if he did, we'd all have a bit of a late lunch. <laughs> and if Commissioner Wren gets the Liberal nomination, what about poor Mr. Verhofstadt? What's he going to do? Perhaps he could challenge Mr. Schultz for the Socialist nomination. I'm sure he'd feel more at home in that group. In fact, I think I'm one of the few people here who doesn't actually want to do your job. I'm perfectly happy with the one that I've got. The problem, of course, is that none of these uh, potential candidates on show today represent any new ideas. They represent the vested interests of the past, the people of the European district in Brussels rather than the people of Europe. And next May, the choice won't be about anonymous candidates from political groupings that nobody's ever heard of. It will be about whether you want to merely shuffle the deck of cards or throw the deck out completely and start afresh. The essential flaw of the EU is that it simply doesn't trust the capacity of people and markets to overcome problems. Problems, we're told repeatedly here, can only be solved by more Europe. If somebody falls off a ladder somewhere in Europe, we need a new directive to solve it. People are not allowed to be trusted to decide their own working hours. They're not even to be allowed to take up e-cigarettes, to name another topical example. And when EU lawyers say that the financial transaction tax, so beloved of so many of you, is actually illegal, as they did yesterday, that doesn't matter because nothing, even the law, should stand in the way of further European integration. We need a new Euro-realist direction with different ideas. One that says that patriotism is healthy. To be proudly German or French or Polish is not necessarily anti-European. The concepts are not antagonistic and to want a new direction for Europe is not anti-European. The real anti-Europeans are those whose idea of change in the EU only means moving further in the old failed direction. The real nationalists are those who force us to accept a European nation that the reality shows that nobody in Europe actually wants. And you know what? We've tried the old interventionist, centralizing, socialist type approaches. And it may have been appropriate for the 1950s. Today, it is indeed well past its sell-by date. Let's try something different. Let's try a new approach. Perhaps we could rediscover the principle of freedom that many in Europe fashioned for the world, of opening our markets, of embracing enterprise, of eliminating the very many vested interests in the Union. Next year's elections will offer us an opportunity, not to advance European political parties and their candidates, beloved of many of us, but nobody in the real world has heard of them, but to give people a true choice, not about who you want steering the tanker, but actually whether you want the tanker to go in a different direction. Many of us want change. All of the polls indicate that the people of Europe want change. Next May, they'll have a chance to make a stand. They can say that they don't just want a new president for the EU, they want a new direction for it. Thank you.